Hello, Floss Tube. Welcome to Floss Tube number 39, I think. Um, I'm pretty sure it's 39 because I had to watch my previous video to make sure I didn't do a giveaway, which I don't think I did a giveaway. Um, hopefully, I did not miss that. But yes. Oh, hi. Welcome. My name is Ymir. Welcome to Almond m &M's floss tube section corner um full disclosure if most of you don't know me i live in new york city and my windows are open because it is hot as hell why because it is wait wait did i tell you this is going to be an all over the place video it is june 22nd and it is 10 40 1 p.m. and I am making a lasagna so I have a lasagna in the oven while I am doing this so windows are open and you're gonna be hearing all the ruckus all the ruckus from outside um, but yes did I say my name my name is Ymir hi hi hello welcome this is if this is your first floss tube welcome to the disaster um, I let me mute this thank you very much um so the last time I was here it was about two months ago I meant to come back in a month but you know things happened life happened and then you know I traveled a little bit and had a little bit of fun and then you know had to come back to reality and then looked at the calendar and I'm like uh oh um but we're here now and I have stuff to show you. I have some haul, I have some stitching, I have some updates, and then I am for sure going to be here next week because I have possibly, possibly an announcement to make. So we have a lot to chat about. Um, so let's start off with the most recent occurrences um not this past weekend the weekend before the weekend before father's day that's the only way i can remember um i went to StitchCon in cincinnati ohio hosted by uh the local lns there um wait is it cincinnati it is cincinnati um <laughs> located by the wait hosted by the local lns of keepsakes so i ended up going um full disclosure super anxiety leading up to it um because it was kind of like my first time being around a lot of people and a lot of things have transpired within the past few months um even within the past few weeks so my anxiety was on the old time high but you know what i think you know we psych ourselves out if that's the word we um you know make things worse in our heads um and then once we do it and it happens it's like oh well that wasn't so bad so um i'm glad i went i was able to see a few friends see a few faces that i haven't seen in a while um, meet a lot of new people that i haven't met um definitely this time around uh my goal was to work the room and like sit with other people and chit chat with people and you know just try new things so that was a success there um it was that a lot of fun i feel like the weekend went by so fast like literally fast um i hope you don't hear it as bad as i do um yeah, the weekend went by super fast. I got there on Thursday morning. Oh, yeah. So we had this whole situation of like, I'm in New York. Did I say it? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. We had this whole situation of the wildfires that were happening um, with our neighbors in Canada. And it came down to New York City and the air quality was at its worst that it's ever been blah 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 even worse than 9-11 if i'm not mistaken um so that was interesting uh luckily i caught the flight that i caught when i did because there were a lot of flights that were canceled the day before um after i flew out and all that stuff i mean it was great great um yeah i mean 
it was just not <laughs> not you could not see like in front of your i mean you could see in front of your face but i would say a good two feet you couldn't see two three feet so it was just you couldn't see and then it just smelled like smoke um i'm not someone from like la and that neck of the woods that well i've never even been there but i'm not someone that's from that neck of the woods to know if this is how like their wildfires are but if it is you guys you have to move like i don't know how you guys do it because it was just not pleasant and then um i couldn't even run in it so that pushed me back a little bit but yeah that was that was eventful um but it was just a pleasant um removing myself from the drama in new york and going somewhere else and being able to kind of relax a little bit um even though i was stressed out getting there but it, it was relaxing um and I was able to like shop and chat with people. So that was like the main thing. So StitchCon, as we all know, we all have a whole bunch of like StitchCon swag, a lot of haul, a lot of gifts and all that good stuff. Like honestly, a lot. Mine is full. Um, I'm not going to go through it because I'm pretty sure there is plenty, plenty of videos that you can catch and see out there um that would do it justice i've been terrible at like being a floss tuber because yeah i was trying to live in the moment and lately i've been trying to live in the moment and it's like one foot in front of the other so i did not record um this time around but if i remember i am going to add a um video that um Angie from Tiny House Stitcher um, created of like a whole bunch of floss tubers inter uh, uh, what's the word what's the word what's the word introducing themselves um, and saying on how to find them and all that good stuff so if you weren't able to go you don't know how to find details at least um, you have like a good selection of people that you can check out um, at the ending of the video so I will put that Hopefully I can mash everything together and hopefully the, uh, yeah, hopefully I can do it. Uh, hopefully I can do it. And if I don't, I think I should be able to do it. I haven't done this in a while, but whatever. Um, yeah, so I'm not going to show everything, but I do want to show and kind of like talk about a few instances, BT dubs. I did say that this was going to be all over the place. This is classic me now. And I feel like in the past few months it's been worse because I am like jumping all over the place. Um, see, I forgot what I was going to say. Um, see, I forgot what I was going to say. I'm so not happy. I'll remember. It'll come to me. Um, so I'm not going to show everything that I purchased, but I am going to show, I'm, I'm not going to show everything that I received and purchased and all that good stuff, but I am going to show a few key things because, um, I want to talk about those and I do want to like shout out a few things. Um, I was going to say call out. No, it's not call out. It's shout out a few things. So I do want to shout out a few things because, um, they were mem memorable memorable for me memorable um hopefully i said that right um so i went to keepsakes of course if you go to ohio you have to go to keepsakes and especially if you go to StitchCon, you have to go to keepsakes hello duh um so i ended up going to keepsakes i purchased a few things and i also found some freebies in there um i actually did good i did not purchase a lot if you were in stitch con you know that's a lie um but i did while i was there i did purchase a few things um that i wanted to highlight and show but i also found um some freebies i think i said right did i say that yeah yeah full disclosure so you get one of these books when you spend a certain amount at keepsakes yeah oopsie sorry not sorry um so while i was there oh no while i was there i purchased this 
which I'm pretty sure I have. So I have to look for it. But the thing is, I love Mama Teresa. So I was just like, let me get this. And if I don't have it, I'll keep it. And if I do have it, stitch along it is or a past the stash situation it will be but i wanted to get this because of all the flowers and the birdies um and i'm pretty sure i gravitated to this prior to my life occurring events um but i feel like this time around when i picked it up it had a little bit more meaning to me because it's definitely like the florals and the birdies and all that good stuff and then the little one um butterfly so i definitely want to stitch this but i need to hold off i was just talking to one of <clears throat> my stitchy friends that i was just like yeah i remember when i first started i was like yeah i'm a monogam monogamous monogamous stitcher i will only stitch on one or two pieces lies lies that i was saying i was lying out my face i think i have about 12 whips which is not that bad but they're like biggies so i need to get it together so i ended up purchasing that one from Teresa colgate which hello i had to then um I found a lot of freebies, which I was not looking for them, but I kept on bumping into them. And I was just kind of like, oh, okay, um, great. Um, but I did purchase some fabric while I was there. Um, some Exude, I'm gonna go through these super fast because hello, who wants to see fabric? Some Exude 40 count. I mean, I got it because of the color but am i gonna stitch on 40 count no um there's an inside joke not joke about 40 count but it is what it is i got another x jude 40 count which i don't know why i was buying 40 count but i got 40 count um I got it because of the color and I feel like the only reason why I got it because of the color is because I feel like I had a conversation with someone that it might be the girls from Fire Poppies that they might have gotten this in 46 by mistake and I could do it even trade. But also I wanted to support. So then I also purchased this one which is a pretty green 46 count. Yes yes uh-huh my my route um this one i don't know what count is this one but this is also as x jude um i remember because i had it from the same bin and then last but not least this little purple one that's also from x jude should i do good and tell you the names this one is seashell yeah uh -huh. just in case you want it um this one is sampler khaki um oh wait no this one is spilled coffee i think that was the one that i didn't know what the name was and i found it after i unfolded it um this one is grandma sleeve I like the like yellows and all that good stuff or maybe it's this one i don't know what this one is but we will figure it out i feel like it's i don't know i don't want to misspeak bobby what color is that tell me um bobby from pumpkin creek prims tell me um so yes i purchased fabric which hello you never can go wrong with the fabric that was like one thing and then another thing that i ended up purchasing while i was there was um this was actually in the annex this is a stitch along that um was happening uh hosted by pam from um why am i blanking i'm tired um hosted by pam from just keep stitching um this year precisely the weekend a was her 30 year anniversary of um her can cancer diagnosis um so she started this there um so they actually 
I don't know if here it's written, but I feel like there was somewhere that I saw a chart of like different colors, what meant different things. So like pink, like breast cancer, orange, MS, um, like white or red, I think is coronary disease, which I should be doing that um, in that color, but I need to double check. So yeah, so I definitely want to do this. I mean, I love Quakers and it definitely... Um, you know brings back a lot of things to the surface so um i think the style is called courage uh courage um or something like that i need to double check but no is it pam's courage style or something like that um i'll write that hopefully i remember um so that one i purchased it at the annex um and then what else and sidebar when i went to keepsakes i actually ended up going with um connie uh molina's mom and i think i went with connie and then i went with yeah i did and then i went with um with janelle um both of them were their first year at StitchCon, so that was also fun to like dr uh, ride drive <laughs> i don't even know how to drive guys um y'all sorry um ride the stitchy bus with them their first experience and then of course like going into keep six and all that good stuff so i was just kind of like peeking around to see what they purchased but with that being said i did find a few goodies um at the freebie section whether it was outside or at the table so i found a few um cute freebies that um you know it's good to have and eventually i will um use um i did purchase needles because hello your girl needs needles all the time um sidebar if you want to know what kind of needles i use i use a size 12 john james needle beauty thank you very much what else um what else so one thing that i wanted to show you all was and a lot was going on during StitchCon, and I feel like for me, I didn't stitch much per se, or I did try to stitch and whatever, but I was also socializing a lot. Um, one of the socializing moments was that Zan um, had invited me to go uh, thrifting with her and a few of the ladies, um, so why not? So I ended up going with them. Um, the largest situation I've ever seen in my life like a warehouse of just stuff however I mean coming from the industry that I come from like I've seen these warehouses like this but they were the ones that I've seen are of like our storage and like things wrapped up and you know put away and like inventory controlled but this situation it was just whew, a lot so um while we were there um there are a lot of cute things that um we came across and all that good stuff but i did find something um that was pretty cool i found a whole bag of poopies so some of them are the metal tinny ones I don't know, some of them are tied up some of them are like the metal tin ones um Some of them are just like the classic hoops. So it's pretty interesting. Um, I'm excited for those, but also like I can keep them for props. So I'm excited for those. I found this whole bag and I think it was like five bucks. Five buckaroos for all of this? Like, come on, we can't go wrong. Then um, I feel like I got another thing from there or I was trying to get another thing. But one of the big things were, were was that um, I walked by this cloche um, and I was just like, oh, shoot, I should have gotten the cloche, but I didn't, blah, 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 whatever. So then um, Zen actually went back um, 
the following day or something because they went thrifting again they invited me i cannot do that to myself again absolutely not um so they ended up going they found a lot of good stuff i'm not a good thrifter because i'm not used to it i do not have any clue of anything um so she actually ended up going back and found the clothes and gave it to me so i hand carried this um, I didn't have a carry-on or anything, which was also the first time domestically that I've traveled without a carry-on. I, If you know me, you know that I will travel with everything and, a, and it's all carry-on. I will travel internationally, all carry-on, period. I went to Morocco with literally a carry-on size luggage um, inside of a bigger luggage because when I was coming back I wanted to bring stuff so yes um, long story short I literally brought this bag back in a plastic bag because I didn't even have a carry-on so look at the cloche um, yeah class cloche and black base so tell me this isn't so pretty so she went back and got it for me I'm so happy um, because I was telling her, I was like, oh, that reminds me of Liz and her whole cloche thing. But I should have gotten it. And silly me, I didn't get it. So I didn't end up getting it. But she got it for me. Thanks, friend. Um, so I was super excited when she gave it to me. She also got me this one. Or actually, I feel like it was Zan. Nope. I'm not even going to say who it was. I'm not even going to show it because I'm going to get in trouble. I don't think it was in, so I won't show it. See, this is the problem. When we get so much stitchy kindness, um, you, ju you just have to, like, can someone invent, like, a card where you can write, like, where the stitchy kindness came from? Because, like, I literally want to acknowledge everyone and say, like, yo, I got this from this person or, like, keep it so I know exactly who gave it to me, like, at all times. Because a lot of the times, if I use it, all the time i'll know exactly who gave it to me but if i like keep it off to the side as like you know like where people can you know as a display or whatever i don't want to forget who gave it to me so those creative peoples out there maybe we can make some like cards so you know like how to identify the stitchy kindness right wrong maybe so i don't know um so another thing I'm trying to like get through this like pretty fast because I feel like I'm being boring. Am I being boring? Tell me if I'm being boring. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Dee, 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 dee. Oh no, hold on, something got bent. Got a lot of stitchy kindness. Janelle actually knitted something for me, which I can't find it in this bag and I don't want to dig deep. But um, yeah, like, you know, if it's if you've never been to a stitch con or something like that, you should go to a retreat. Like, it's so much fun. Like, you get to meet a whole bunch of people. They like, you know, you exchange little goodies and all that good stuff. Um, see she i have to block block this one out but it's like a little butterfly and it has my name <laughs> and it has a little um uh like starbucks coffee cup situation so i'm super excited about that Ooh, oh my god so i should have this is like all over the place but i don't care if you love me you're still here right do you love me um so I should have did, did I should have done this a long time ago, but I did not, which I finally pulled the trigger. Um, I don't know if that's a good term to say. I finally did it. Um, so I was raw for a for like a year, um, a few years ago. Um, so a lot of like my foods and things like that was a lot based on like meal prepping and all that good stuff. And I used to do like you know make my own like oat milks cashew milks and all that stuff but back in the day when 
I was, you know, through this phase. And then I was pescatarian for a long time and then slowly transitioned into me. But I think I'm going to go back to pescatarian. But that's a completely different conversation. But I do want to talk to you about something that um, actually made me exciting, which I don't know. Oh, I do know why. I don't know. I'm talking about this. Um, so I used to make my own, like, milks or whatever because you know healthy whatever but lately um i only i don't drink milk i only drink like oat milk or almond milk but it's 99 percent of the time oat milk so of course there was an oat milk uh recall so that freaked me out then i purchased oat milk and literally the next day when i went to use it it came out clumpy so it grossed me out so now i'm like here where i can't i don't even want to get oat milk from anybody buy oat milk from anybody so i ended up uh deciding on purchasing like a, a nut milk machine so i'm super excited for that it's coming tomorrow super excited for that so i'm gonna be able to like have fun with like little milks and things like that see janelle look what you did to me um i'm not a coffee drinker when i do drink coffee it's bad so um yeah so we'll see we'll see i can update you all with that one um another thing that i got gifted to me was one of these um it's a bee and honeycombs this was at the annex oh look and look at the little pulley this was at the annex um so yeah there's a story about that one too not my story to tell but i'm super excited about this one so thank you on that and then what else oh my god so oh hey okay i saw a piece of fabric that looked like a completely different color in person the day that i got it and it looks completely different so that's interesting i digress it's gonna be a completely it's going to go into a completely different um conversation so um another thing that i wanted to show you all because hello this is wow 26 minutes and i have not showed you any stitching shame on me um I wanted to show you stitching because hello stitching so like i was saying i haven't been stitching much but i have stitched a lot technically um uh oh spaghetti oh one segundo i'm actually on the floor and i'm not gonna pause this because why should i pause it um when you know it's a total hot mess right it's a total hot mess um uh, did I not? Am I like this unprepared? I think I'm this very unprepared. Or maybe it was in here and I like called it too soon. I think I called it too soon. Maybe I did. Let me take this out. I showed you my last project bag, right? I think I called it too soon. I did call it too soon. So, um, while I was at StitchCon... Um, and you're gonna have to pardon me while I was at StitchCon I tried I attempted to stitch on um, two things my bower birds from hello from Liz Matthews which I mean I don't feel like I have a lot of progress done but I do have the O and a little bit of the birdie in there excuse the threads so I started stitching a little bit on that but then I got sidetracked and then I also knew that I had responsibilities, which was um, the model stitch that I was discussing last time. Um, did I tell you all that I, I volunteered myself to model stitch for someone, which the chart is amazing. However, I made the silly mistake of just being Ymir and being like, sure, I will stitch this over one. Um, yeah over one works perfectly especially on 46 because this person was gracious enough to uh let me use 46 however the floss it's not your mirror floss because your mirror only stitches on high count and then i forgot that not everybody does that so i attempted to do it one over one which looks amazing but i don't think it does it justice so I'm gonna have to turn it and start all over and um stitch over too 
so um i need to bring myself to restart that but once i restart it like i feel like it'll take me a few days like i just need to get my act together and just do it however i was also procrastinating and i brought an oldie an uh, oldie but i but a goodie and i looked this one up when i took it out i have not touched this in two years two years and um it's funny because i put it away because i had to frog and i was just like i don't want to do it and because it's 56 over one one over one so yes um i didn't want to do it so i ended up just pulling it and i was just like whatever like i'm gonna do it fine whatever um so this one is actually a sal that i am doing with um shiloh from x stitch md and tiffin stitches which i'm not sure where they're at now with that i feel like they're probably done because i started we started this like two years ago like hello however shiloh's is gigantic and i feel like tiffany's is also gigantic um which we would have to take pictures eventually one day when we see each other um which also i did the bower birds of from liz matthews i took a picture with melissa um the cupcake stitcher because she is also stitching it and the size difference is hilarious um but um enough about my yapping so this is my this is terrible terrible i'm like showing you like my like loose threads and whatever so this is my bristol sampler um i'm pretty sure it's like br hashtag bristol sampler something i can definitely put it in so this chart um was in a magazine i feel like the magazine has like 60 like a virtual magazine so it has about 60 of them i like i said it's been two two years so this is from god knows how long so i can put all the information in the description and i am more than happy to answer any questions which i also need to go back into all of the previous comments and answer to those but i am more than happy to answer any questions because hello it's an alphabet and it's a bristol but with that being said i sort of figured out all of the frogging that i had to do which is down here as well um and then i have to do a little bit of frogging here because i made a boo-boo but that's why you have hanging threads and however also in addition i made it all the way to the other side so this alpha this z right here is literally the other side so i want to say it's three pages wide and maybe three pages down so this is what three pages wide looks like and this is what one page up looks like so this is gonna be exciting um i'm super excited because i haven't stitched on this in like two years and i put it away but you know just i already put like in like five days i put like two two three thousand stitches in it so i'm excited for that one what do you think tell me um yeah yeah it's one of the last floss one of the last things that i have that are not in the floss that i dyed so i'm super excited for that one too because i'm like oh yeah i forgot that there's other good things out there um so that's that that's all my stitching that i've been stitching wow i've been talking for 30 minutes um that's all my stitching that i've been stitching so another thing because a lot has happened and i was supposed to come back a month ago and i didn't um i ended up purchasing some uh goodie bags mystery bags from um bobby at pumpkin creek prims primitives pumpkin creek primitives um and i never opened them and i ended up buying two and i bought two for funsies um trust me i didn't open it it's just because it's been sitting i swear i haven't opened it i promise um i swear it's because and it's also like these are like so big so 
I did have self resistance um, because when I purchased it, I um, I think I was coming back from home. I had to go back home because I had another death in a family. Yes. Um, and then uh, I ended up going to Portugal in May, which was a trip that was already pre-planned from, from about a year ago. Um, so that was kind of a little bit bittersweet. But I feel like I purchased it before Portugal, but after I went back home for the funeral. So I'm not quite sure. So but I always had it to the side because I knew I had to do a floss tube and I wanted to do it. So let's open it together um, and let's see because I do see the little thing here. I do see that I purchased a pair of scissors, which I vaguely remember purchasing it, but I think it's fun. We'll see. We'll see what I purchased and what I got. So let's start with the small one. Beep, beep, beep what's in here yes so these are the scissors which i think i do remember now that i was just like um i need these in black thanks buddy um i have them in gold but black is oh yes black is always amazing You, if you love me, you know. If you know me and if you love me, you know that I love um, Tiny Everything. And she put some Swedish fish in there. Like, hello, why are you putting it? Bobby, why are you putting it all the way in there? Like, you have to give it to me for easy access. Because, hello, it's candy. I'm eating this right now. Is it bad that I'm eating in front of you guys? Um... So I do remember that I purchased one, so rude of me, but I do remember that I purchased one as a sampler because she had it in different themes and then one for Christmas. So clearly, I'm not a Christmas girl. So I have a sneaky suspicion that a lot of this is going to go to someone or somebody. I can't believe I'm chewing. I'm opening. I'm making a mess. It's okay. Bobo sampler. Ooh. Mm-hmm. I haven't seen this before. Look at that. But no, those are actual stitches. Because I was about to be like, uh, who's doing eyelets? Because these look like eyelets, but no, those are X's. There. This is super cool. I need to read about it. I've never even seen this. Where have I been? Having a midlife crisis. That's where I've been. I don't know. See? I told you I didn't open anything. What's in here? What's in here? I love gifts and I love surprises. Ooh. A um, floss card organizer. Oh, and she put floss in here? Heck yeah. Even though I don't stitch on with these types of flosses, I always like to like keep them off to the side and all that good stuff. A floss organizer? Uh, yes, please. Especially when I'm like hanging and not doing, not like, hang, especially when I'm hanging and using like multiple. I'm a mo monochrome, monotone stitcher, but you never know. There's something that's coming up with, I want to say a dozen colors, so I'm excited about that. Okay, Christmas. Let's open Christmas. There's 
my thing in there. See? Oh. So, ooh. Wow, so you get two charts here. So you have this one. And you have this one. Tee. These are teal. And then, as promised, I didn't open it. I can't believe I kept this here this whole time and never opened it. My old self would have just rummaged through it and not cared at all. And I got a blue one. So we have siblings. Literally, it's like, it reminds me of like baby showers. So I'm excited for this one. So I think... Oh wait, there's floss too. I think it's only fair for me to pass it to someone. Um, I didn't even think about this. Okay, let's say Santa. If you would like to have this, um mystery bag situation from Bobby's shop that I purchased for fun to open because I totally forgot that I had it but yes um if you would like to have this it's Santa type Santa and then on the next one which would be next week I hate when you peel off those like thingies on the envelopes and then like you still get like the gross gum um yes say santa next week i can do the drawing and then i can let you all know who it is um and then i can ship all these goodies to you um i think that would be fun right wow this has a lot of colors mm-hmm Mm-hmm. Wow. Yes. I will not show the amount of colors, but it has one, two, three, four. Nineteen. Wow. Super cool. But yes. So we can do that one. Cool. Capiche? Santa. Let's say Santa. That would be fun. Um, what else? I feel like I'm not missing anything else. I've yapped. I've extended. I've only shown you two stitches. I've hauled. I've given you no stories of Stitch Con, which there were a lot of stories, but there's a lot of stories that are not mine to tell, so I can't even share that. So, um, what else? What else? That's pretty much it. I mean, I enjoyed seeing friends there. I had so much fun. Um, I feel like July is going to be a toughie for me, um, but I am looking forward to July. There's a few things and announcements that may or may not happen, so I'm excited for that. Um, but, you know, taking it one day at a time and that's all you can do, right? You can't do much, but, you know, be grateful for waking up another day so with that being said i would like to thank each and every single one of you for being here and staying all the way to the end and listening to my rambles um and supporting me my shop me as a person me as a creative and all that good stuff so i want to say definitely thank you for that oh and before i forget so there was a couple that i met at stitchcon last year right they were so cute i love them and i'm always like happy and i when i see like couples especially stitchy couples i am such a hater because i need someone that would stitch with me and when i see that there's couples that stitch i'm just like where'd you get him from like does he have a sibling like what the hell that i can like borrow for like eternally eternity um but i met them last year i didn't get a lot of time to like chit chat with them and all that good stuff however this time 
this year i was able to like sort of like put my stuff at their section and like sit with them chit chat for a bit uh, we bought candy together we bonded we bonded over candy um so i want to give them a shout out because um i had so much fun with them and i didn't even know they had a floss tube until we were talking about it um i always just thought that it was just like instagram that they had so they are sean and fawn from a uh, sync synctum stitching so it's synctum synctum is s s a n hold on i'm going to tell you it is synctum stitching um s a n c t u m stitching so go check them out on floss tube go check them out on instagram um if you go on floss tube i think we should like not trick them but like drop them little emojis <gasps> we should drop them little kitty emojis so if you go over there and you see some of their videos or whatever just show them some love and drop some kitty emojis and don't tell them where the kitties are coming from <laughs> <laughs> imagine they're probably like where are all these kitties coming from um but yeah they're like super nice a super nice couple um i just really enjoy it and i enjoyed having um to spend some time not having that sounds like it was like an obligation i enjoyed spending some time with them and we had chick-fil-a together which was great and the lady at chick-fil-a totally judged me but whatever i digress enough is enough i need to zip it and yeah i need to go eat my lasagna um i will see you all next week thanks for watching um if you stayed all the way to this end remember you have a little bit of homework one let me know if you would like to keep the santa's packet so that's the first thing two go to sean and fawn's um instagram or their floss tube drop some cats below and three i am attaching a video to the ending of this video so you can see some of the faces that were there and they introduced themselves and that video was actually created by angie from tiny house stitcher that's all i did all the housekeeping in 47 minutes plus whatever the rest of this video will be at. okay bye see you next week Hi everyone, Hi. Uh, we are Garon Citri. I'm Ronnie. I'm Gary. And you can see us on YouTube at Garon Stitchery, or you can visit us on Facebook at Garon Tote Bags. And we have a website that you can purchase from us at garon stitcherycom Having fun at StitchCon, thank, thank you. you. Hi, this is Candy, the 614 Stitcher. And you can find me on Instagram, Facebook, and FlossTube at the 614 Stitcher. Thanks. Hi, I'm Fawn. And I'm Sean. And we're Saint and Stitching. Saint and Stitching. <laughs> <laughs> um, I am Saint and Stitching on Instagram. And I am Sean M. Stevens90 on and Instagram. Come talk to us on YouTube. We love talking about birds, all our house issues, and we stitch all the things. And our favorite so, cat. Favorite cat, Wally. Favorite cat, Wally. Bye. 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 Hi, I'm Bobby, Pumpkin Creek Primitives. You can get me on YouTube at Pumpkin Creek Primitives, Instagram, Pumpkin Creek Primitives, and our website, pumpkincreekprimitives.com. Okay, hi guys, my name is Ymir. I go by all my m ms on FlossTube, Instagram, website, and all that good stuff. So if you would like to find me, you can just find the all my m ms somewhere near you. Bye. Good. Hi, I'm Leanne and I am Leanne.stitches on YouTube and on Instagram and I am also Forbidden Fiber Co. on Instagram or www.forbiddenfiberco.com. Hi. Hi there, I'm Angie, I'm the Tiny House Stitcher and you can find me on YouTube at Tiny House Stitcher or Instagram at Tiny House Stitcher. I have a website www.tinyhousestitcher.com. So come and check out my channel and join my tiny tribe.
Thank you. Hey everyone, ha happy uh, Saturday from <laughs> StitchCon. I'm Christy Bernstein, Salty Stitcher Designs, and um, come check out my website and my Instagram, Facebook, all at saltystitcherdesigns.com. So, okay. thanks. Hi, I'm Karen, Recovering Monogamous Stitcher on both FlossTube and Instagram. My FlossTube channel is mostly about cross stitch, but it's also about quilting and other sewing crafts. I hope you'll stop by sometime and see me. Thanks. Hey, I'm Sylvia Sticker, Running with Needles and Scissors. You can find me on FlossTube, Running with Needles and Scissors. My website is Running with Needles and Scissors, but you can type in www. R-W-A-N-S, so you don't have to type the whole thing, and I'm on Instagram, running with needles and scissors. Shout out from StitchCon. Okay. Hey, my name is Sarah, I'm from Memphis, and I have a channel about cross stitch. My channel name is the same as my Instagram, it is Memphis Sarah E. Having a great time at StitchCon Weekend A. Would love for y'all to come check out um, my channel. In addition, we also have a local Stitch Together group called 901 Stitchers with my friend Zan, Crazy Van Lady Stitches. If you're local to us or passing through Memphis on a weekend, you know, check out our Facebook group and come join us. Hi, I'm Zan Lansiddle. I'm Crazy Van Lady Stitches on Instagram and I have a floss tube. It's about cross stitch, quilting, sometimes crochet, maybe not, <laughs> not a lot, but come and check me out. Thank you. Bye. Hi, Floss Tube friends. <laughs> I'm Connie. I'm Melina. And, and we are Count, Count Twice, Twice Stitch Once. On Instagram, I am Count Twice Stitch Once. And mine is Melina Stitcher. And we just talk about our cross stitch projects and maybe whatever other done. crafty stuff we have going on. <laughs> That's about it. Great. See ya. Hi, I'm Janelle, Coffee, Wine, and Stitching Time, and I have a glass tube about cross stitch, yarn, and anything I want to talk about. And don't expect any actual routine, because there's just lots of haul and lots of stuff, and whatever it is, it is, so come check me out. Thanks! Smile, sparkle, shine! Hi everyone, I'm Tammy with Creative Country Girl. I have a floss tube channel on YouTube. You can watch me at Creative Country Girl, Tammy Blaylock. I talk about all my stitching, my sewing, my quilting, and my oh, okay. bag banking. Okay. So, uh, come to YouTube, find Creative, Creative Country Girl, and I'm gonna have a new video very soon. Bye, see ya. Hi, it's Janet, Janet with Janet Jabber. You can find me on all socials at Janet Jabber. Hi, I'm Liz. Hi, I'm Shelly, and we're the Antique Needleworkers. You can find us on Instagram, Antique Needleworkers, or at the Wandering Stitcher and Shelly Fry Five. Bye-bye. Hi, I'm Colleen, Rebel Stitcher. Uh, you can find me on Instagram at Rebel Stitcher Designs, or my website is rebelstitcher.com. Thank you. Yay! Hi, I'm Christine. You can find me at Mountain Crafts Studio. Hi, I'm Christine from Hollis Sands Create. You can find me at Hollis Sands Create at my shop or on Instagram or at McMama Hollis. Thank you. Welcome to Whips and Sips. I'm Justine. And I'm Shelly. You can find me on Instagram at Shelly underscore kind. It's spelled K-A-I-N. And you can find me at Welcome21 on Instagram. Thank Thanks. you. Bye-bye. Hello, I'm Abby. I'm Top Knot Stitcher. You can find me on FlossTube at Top Knot Stitcher, Instagram, Top Knot Stitcher, my shop, topknotstitcher.com. <laughs> Hello, <laughs> and goodbye. Hi, I'm Lynn from Linux Stitches Creates. You can find me at um, FlossTube at Linux Stitches Creates and Instagram at Linux Stitches Creates. Okay. Hi everyone, I'm Seattle Stitcher. You can find me as the Seattle Stitcher on FlossTube and Megan underscore Pagata on Instagram. Hey y'all, it's Bridget, the Museum Stitcher. You can find me on FlossTube at the Museum Stitcher and Instagram is the same name. Hi everyone, my name is Will Smith and you can find me on FlossTube and Instagram as Bridget Lily Stitches. Cool. Hey all you lovely people, my name is Alexis. You can find me at Alexis underscore My Amazing World on FlossTube and on Instagram. Hey everybody, Mr. Hollick here. I'm at StitchCon 23. I'm a floss tuber and just thought I'd say hi and introduce you to myself. Yeah, that's right. Uh, stop by and visit me at uh, youtube.com slash Mr. Hollick, M-R-H-O-L-L-I-C-K. Uh, my Instagram is sean.hollick, S-E-A-N dot H-O-L-L-I-C-K. And uh, Facebook 
is Mr. Hollick, M-R-H-O-L-L-I-C-K. Sorry, I don't have a uh, MySpace anymore, but um, that's okay. Anyway, stop by, I'd love for you to stop by and check out some of my videos. Um, uh, I haven't made one for a little while, but I'm gonna have a big, uh, big uh, comeback video here soon after StitchCon, so be sure to check it out. <laughs> hey there guys, it's Liz Matthews here. I have a floss tube as well as a company called Hello from Liz Matthews. You can find me on Instagram under the same name. I share behind the scenes of new and upcoming designs as well as all of the things I love in the community. Hope to see you there. Hi friends, this is Jessica, the Sweetwater Stitcher, and I am on YouTube at Sweetwater Stitcher. I'm on Instagram, at same name, Sweetwater Stitcher, where I share my whips, my current or er, finishes, upcoming projects, and all kinds of other things. I even have some tutorials. So come and follow me there. Hope to see you there. Bye! Hi, Stitchy Friends. Hi, Stitchy Friends. I'm Sarah. And I'm Jen. And we are the Stitchy Friends. <laughs> you can find us on YouTube at Stitchy Friends. Um, we also have an Instagram, Stitchy Friends underscore, or Stitchy underscore Friends. Yes. And, and we just, we like to share what we're stitching and what we're buying and what we're doing and what we're planning and all the things. So we hope you guys will join us and, and check us out. Thanks. Okay. Bye, guys. Hi, I'm Chantel with 141 Design Company, and you can find me on Instagram at Chantel's 141, on Facebook at Chantel Dineline 141 Design Company, and my new website, which is Chantel's 141.com. And what I offer are DIY woodcut finishing solutions for all of your cross stitch projects. I'm here at StitchCon, I'm having a blast. Make sure you're here next year. Thanks. Hi, it's Jody Smith. I'm Simply Stitching Ocala from Ocala, Florida. You can follow me on the same uh, handle at uh, Simply Stitching Ocala on YouTube and Instagram. Hope to see you all next year. Bye. Hello, Stitchy friends. My name is Carrie and I am Tiger Lily Designs. I am on FlossTube and YouTube and Instagram and Facebook and all the places. You can come and join me. I try to do a floss tube every Friday just to share what I'm working on. I also have a project keeper, maybe you've heard of it, subscription box. It's a quarterly club that I try to join, but my website is www.tigerlilyshop.com or tiger.lily.designs in all the places. See you soon. Happy stitching. Hi, Hi. everybody. <laughs> we are Stuck Harbor Crafts. We are. And my name is Debbie. And I'm Kefri and this is Maverick. And we are here at StitchCon, yep. and we would like um, to introduce you, if you've never seen us, we are on Floss Tube. Yep. And Instagram, uh, Instagram, Facebook. Yep, all the places. Stuff Armor Crafts. That's right. And then uh, every October we do a retreat. Yeah, it's called Stitch West. Stitch West in Salt Lake City. Yeah. And it's a lot of fun. Um, this year it's October 13th, 14th, and 15th. And we're full for now, but we will be announcing some in the maybe future. Maybe two retreats. Yeah, maybe two. Maybe and more. And we uh, will keep you posted. If you want to find out more information, just go to Snug Harbor Crafts. Yeah. And you will be able to find us. Yeah, we'd love to have you. Fun. Bye. See ya. Hi, I'm Judy Whitman with JBW Designs. Oh, I have a floss too. It's JBW Designs. And I also have an Instagram account. It's Judy.Whitman. I also have our Friends of JBW Designs Facebook page. And I sell my patterns um, almost exclusively through needle workshops and um, through distributors. So if you see a pattern that you've been wanting to get, I would encourage you to contact your local needle workshop or write to me at Judy at JBWDesigns.com and I can give you a shop as a, a source. So thanks a lot. Bye-bye. Hey FlossTube, welcome back to Basic Stitches. I'm Jordan and I'm on Instagram at JordanXStitch. And I'm Jamie and I'm on Instagram at JamieXStitch. That's how we start all of our videos on our channel, Basic, Basic Stitches. Stitches. I'm a designer, um, I am a little stitch girl. I've been designing for about five years? Yeah. Five or six years. Um, and we love FlossTube and the whole community and everything it's done for cross stitch. Um, Within the last year, mom started designing too, also under Little Stitch little Girl. Stitch Girl, yep. On Floss Tube, it's Basic Stitches slash Little Stitch Girl. Yep. On Instagram, all those. Um, I'm also on TikTok at little.stitch.girl. I post all of them to Instagram as Reels too. 
but we have a lot of fun making silly videos. Thanks, bye. Bye. Hi guys, it's Chrissy finding a fire girl. We're coming to you this afternoon on almost our last day. Is it our last day? Yeah. Almost yeah. last day. Because we will be getting back on the road tomorrow, but we are having a great time yep. at um, StitchCon Weekend A. So our floss tube is Finding a Farm Girl and Stitchy Linda. And we are going to get back to you real soon after uh, Weekend A and after our travels and after we rest just yes, a little just a bit. bit. And we'll be excited to show everything that we uh, experienced at StitchCon 2023. This um, is finally a farm girl. <laughs> you do this. <laughs> and her patents are finally a farm girl. And you can find them at all your distributors and your local yes. leader work stores. Yes, and, uh, <laughs> and, and soon in uh, late, I believe it's late August, mm -hmm. you have uh, Needlework Marketplace, which is a virtual market, and um, you will be seeing new designs then from me, and you will be able to order and do your typical me pleases and do some pre-orders, so we are working on those right now. And so there's some cute ones coming. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes, it's a very special one. Thank That's you. That's right. Have a great time. See ya. Bye okay. guys. Hi, I'm Christy from Kinder Ramblings. My Instagram handle is cjinx0. And I think that's it. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Hello from Florida. I'm Melissa Neely. I'm Neely's Needle Nest. I, my Instagram handle is also Neely's Needle Nest. N-E-E-L-E-Y is my last name. I also do finishing, so um, anytime you want to do finishing, most of what you'll see from me on Instagram and in my uh, videos are on finishings. Hope to see you soon. Okay. Hi, I'm Kathy Ratliff at Kathy's Corner. I have a floss tube, and I sure hope you would want to come and check me out. I finish things. I have a Friday finishes called Fabulous Fun Friday finishes that you can check out. I also have, besides floss tube, some gardening videos and such. Um, I would love for you to check me out. I'm on Facebook, that's it. I'm on Facebook at Kathy's Corner and Instagram at Kathy's Corner 2021. So check me out.